Well, it is time, once again, to talk about tractoring rabbits, or uh, sort of how we are tractoring rabbits at the moment. <coughs> well, it's time to move the rabbits, and uh, if you'll remember from not too long ago, we did a video about sort of putting a rabbit tractor together, so kind of as a bit of a reminder, we have used these tractors or a similar system in the past with mixed results but i'm going to show you today something that i think is really important at least on how we do it or with our experience in that when you move the, the rabbits you want to move them somewhere that has a lot of biomass and i'm going to show you that in a second because it's amazing how much they actually consume so here is kind of one of our smaller tractors there's four rabbits in here Two girls, two boys, they're the same litter, but we switch them to uh, separate cages to prevent any unwanted breeding because they're getting pretty much to that age. But these are about, what, four feet long mm -hmm. by 16 inches wide, each, each tractor. And I'm going to go behind here because as you can see down in there, they've eaten pretty much what they want to eat right down. They're not going to eat too much more, which is good. But if I go behind, you can see the path that they took and uh, it really looks almost the same as what a lawnmower would do to be honest no digging these are younger rabbits and, and honestly i think this design and what we're going to show you is that's the key because these young ones just don't dig but when i stand on the other side of the tractor you can see where they're about to move to you can see another tractor way down there this is actually a good example we've got them kind of running in a row and so right in front this is super lush there is a ton of biomass there and you can see the same thing here where the where the last tractor is gone versus where it hasn't gone and honestly we think this is key because it's amazing in a basically 12 hour period this will be gone they will eat, consume all of this and uh, we'll still have to move them so don't underestimate the amount of food that rabbits will actually consume given the opportunity so we're going to move this group and then we'll go look at the big group so really all it is, the box just flips up, that gives them protection, and they're to hide, you'll see that attracts the mosquitoes, but they learn this pretty well. They travel down to where the grass is. <laughs> now one thing you might want to do, you're going to try to eat through it, sometimes you have to uh, pull it up because they don't, they don't eat it well when it's flattened down. The next group, and pretty much go right to eating. Remember, That's the nice thing about these tractor cages is they're so light. They're light. They don't have a bottom, so we can bring. See, I can pull that up, and uh, that will do them for the day. They will be. Uh, we'll move them again 12 hours from now. Exactly. Give or take. And then. You just move the box and they've got their shade so here's the second larger tractor so this is the one that we actually put together well about two weeks ago i think it was and again you can see where they've been kind of looks like a lawnmower's gone down it for the most part you'll see these bunnies didn't eat it right down and uh, that's all right we're still going to move them because they do kind of get to a point where they uh they will stop there. You probably could leave them a little bit longer and they would eat it. But uh, what I might do is just not move it the full length. So this one's even easier to move. Now we just put this board on for sort of extra shade, but it's the exact same principle. It's a bigger tractor. You can, see. you can see they've consumed a lot of it, but they haven't eaten everything down. And uh, part of that is I'm going to say it, they really prefer a lot of the weeds to even the grass. But uh, we're still going to move them, just because uh, it's a good idea to do that. And uh, It'll grow back. Yeah, and you'll see how easily they uh, move here. They know the drill. Don't go all the way. Oh, you went all the way. Same thing at this end. I'm going to <coughs> pull it up. Because when they trample it down, they don't heat it well. This is the nice thing about not having a bottom, is you don't get really any of that grass being scrunched down in the center. 
as you can see, some still prefer what's on the outside. Grass is always greener on the other side of the fence. Yeah, he's really enjoying that piece of yarrow. So these uh, bunnies are happily munching away. I think this just emphasizes the amount of biomass. And by biomass, what I mean is the amount of plants. There is a ton of plants in here. And as we say, these will basically sit in place for about 12 hours. It's not an exact science, but we try to move them twice a day. So this is the morning move. Now we're going to come back, as, as you've seen, we're going to come back and uh, show you what this looks like kind of on the afternoon move or the evening move and just how much they consume. Now the nice part of it is these rabbits aren't getting very much in the way of pellets. We are pretty much forage feeding them. They're grow outs and uh, these are pretty much ready to, uh, to harvest here shortly. But uh, we do find on the pasture, as long as you have it, until they start to dig, which happens pretty quick, uh, there is some forgiveness or forgivingness on uh, the actual butcher date because this weekend's pretty hot, so it's not happening this weekend. But these rabbits are very happy here. And uh, like I say, stay tuned because we're going to come back and show you just how much they've consumed. you find that kind of interesting I guess the moral of the story here is at least from what we have found if you're trying to track your rabbits and you're really trying to almost eliminate the pellets we do feed some pellets but they do don't get it every day they're lucky if they get it once a week you need a lot of food <laughs> rabbits eat a lot so uh, definitely something to think about but uh, it can be done so uh, we are certainly going to be building a little fleet of uh, rabbit tractors here shortly. So uh, yeah, hopefully you found this interesting and uh, it puts it in perspective about how much a rabbit actually consumes.